What's going on, guys? I'm your boy, Steve. I'm here with my boy, Sean. And, and we, we are, are the Ghost, Ghost Guys. Guys. Again, we have a little bit of a different video today. Always. <laughs> always. Always. Seems like we're switching it up all the time. Yeah, but this one we're kind of paying homage to uh, some of the people that influenced us to do this that we're doing now. So For sure. So today we're watching uh, The Night We Talk to Demons. The Real Conjuring House by Sam and Kobe. Sam and Kobe. For those of you that don't know who Sam and Kobe is, uh, they're basically uh, paranormal investigators that go to a lot of crazy places and uh, try and make contact. Mm -hmm. And uh, since I'm not sure which video we, we talked about this, but we're going to be looking to do something very similar. We decided, hey, let's react to some uh, some guys that have already done it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, kind of interested, kind of excited, yeah. And it's a scary. For those that don't know, this this house, the Conjuring House, is the house that uh, inspired and is the story behind the actual Conjuring movie. So yes, it's a real life horror story that they are investigating here in this video. So. That's right. It's, it's probably one of their best videos to check out if you want to kind of like yeah. jump into Sam and Colby videos. We'll definitely have their link in the description, so go over and show them some love. The reason why we're reacting to this one is uh, because we're actually looking to go to the Conjuring House ourselves. Nothing like set in stone at this point, but we're trying to get there. Yeah, we're trying to get there. So... Uh, if you want to help us get there, make sure you guys uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that uh, that like button, uh, hit that like notification, that notification bell. That's right. and uh, hopefully with growing our channel, we'll be able to get out and do bigger and better stuff, and it's free for you guys, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, interested in getting this started. Yeah. Let's get her going. Let's get into it. already feel this, this place. place. Something, Something about this place is not right. Whatever was down there with us is something stronger than I have ever come across in my entire life. So we are going to react to this like we do with uh, the movies. We are going to critique it. So if we are a little bit harsh on the critique, I hope uh, the Sam and Kobe fans aren't uh, too mad at us. And uh, like it's, it is true that these guys kind of are an inspiration and kind of like something that we right. look towards when we uh, try to come up with ideas for our channel and things that we want to do. But that doesn't mean that we're not going to call them out if we see something. That's right. Or if we suspect something, or if we just feel like something could be done better. We're always going to voice that opinion no matter who it is. So. That's right. we got to keep it real with the fans. I'm already excited. Like the, the first couple scenes, the music, the night vision effect here, all really good. Yeah, and as somebody who's like watched some of their earlier stuff to their stuff that they have now, they definitely progressed through their uh, their growth on their channel. So yeah. it's, it's really cool to see. One of the scariest dances we ever do. This is why... We do YouTube. Oh, we've never caught anything on the thermal thing. But that is a clear yeah, ass picture. picture. Two eyes, nose, mouth, haircut like, like that swooped over from the people that lived through it. They said it was actually ten times worse in real life than the movie was. Real life? Yeah. yeah. Really? Okay. You're liking it so far? Yeah. 
<laughs> roller coaster. Like imagine that. Imagine owning a haunted house. <laughs> so crazy. I'm, try, I'm trying to figure out why these guys would buy the house. You got to maintain this house no matter what, right? right? Like nobody, none of the people coming to visit are cleaning it for you or like fixing the pipes or whatever. Like you know, you got to go in this haunted house and look after the shit all the time. Yeah. That's so nuts. Before we start this video, just kind of wanted to give a little disclaimer that what we experienced in the conjuring house was no joke we're usually used to dealing with things like spirits or, or ghosts um but this was this was something else it was we think we think we were dealing with demons again this is the most we've ever captured in a video ever mm. and that's saying a lot we've been doing this for five years so having said hope you enjoy our conjuring experience when people like Sam and Kobe or when people like us or whoever's investigating go out on these like journeys and stuff, we have no idea what would happen, what could happen, and we have like no control over what could happen either. Like so that. like anything could happen and we just need to be like as prepared for it as possible. But like yeah. obviously these guys I don't think were as prepared for what happened. I think I wanna point out obviously like through the experience off of our channel if if you're following us you'll know obviously sean is uh, is a believer and i'm more of a skeptic like i feel like the stuff that we're gonna do is gonna take it to a whole other extreme compared mm -hmm. to like sam and kobe mostly because i i want to test like push it to the limits you know what i mean like basically we're gonna be like paranormal good cop bad cop and he's gonna be bad cop because yeah. like he said he doesn't he is skeptical so he is more apt like, to like jump all in especially when it comes to like demonic presence like i i believe in ghosts to an extent like i believe energy obviously doesn't dissipate and stuff like that but when it comes to like demonic um i don't really believe in demonic i want to see if i can capture the demonic right because that will prove that will prove that there is like a hell there's a heaven there's good there's evil and obviously that will also prove that there might be something after this life i don't really get scared of our hot places usually I was very, very scared to come to this place. I'm, yeah, I'm not kidding. I felt nervous like I'm here for yeah, sure. This is a big deal. Up right now. By the way, guys, we are here with the three lovely ladies. Kat, <laughs> Stas, and Amanda. Amanda can actually speak to the dead. So they bring me here? <laughs> hey, you guys. My name is Amanda Ray. And for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm a medium, which means that I can see and speak to people who have passed on. So if you guys seen the movie, you'll know you'll notice that the house is a bit different. The house they, they shot the movie in is a different house. They didn't use the actual house. Another thing, I, knowing that the people that have it have it for this style of business, do you think that they they might set up the people that go there? They wear like all black and they go outside the window when they're in the house and just knock on the window or something. Like we heard noises, you know, like. I gotta go back kind of thing. I right? wouldn't doubt at some spots people do do that, or maybe even like some people actually like arrange for them to do that. You gotta imagine like if you're the owner of the conjuring house and somebody's coming there to shoot a video and they catch you pranking something, your whole business, that conjuring house, everything that everything's done. Maybe they have like the house rigged some way where yeah, like, stuff could fall over, like. They, Something like that, like, you know, like a fun house almost. Yeah, they definitely could, but then again, like, you're risking it. I feel like it's legit. But again, Yes, we'll believer, find out when we go there. Skeptic, believer, skeptic, so it's really all, like, to what you believe in and, and how you take it. Okay. <laughs> Violent spiritual attacks is uh, number 12 on here. Demonic possession, violent spiritual attacks, electrical shock. I think I've ever been more scared to sign something. Jeez, take up an upper room. <laughs> we're going to have to sign that. Yeah, we're going to have to sign it. Get all the oh my creepy posters wow. everywhere. Oh my god, that's oh horrifying. I cannot I sleep in a house like that. My camera just turned itself off. Did it? Yeah, really? like I, it's going to be bad. What? Really? What do you mean? When it starts sucking energy like that? Yeah, I know. Yeah, when it starts, like they're already 
draining batteries and stuff. Uh, You'll have a good night. We just went to the Lizzie Borden house yeah. and drained three batteries in two hours. There is a male presence. They say there's a male entity. He's very, very old school. Whenever they present themselves to him, he's like, why are you talking to me? Where's where's the men? Before we get started on this tour, could you uh, please just like introduce yourself for fans and followers and stuff like that? <laughs> My name is Corey Heinzen. I'm the co-owner of The Conjuring House. Been investigating for about 12 years. I like long walks on the beach and uh, supersize my value meals. Yeah, you sure. Yeah, and if you have any stories in specific okay, okay. rooms, that would be <laughs> awesome as well. If, um, if Sam and Colby do reach that 10 million subscribers and they go into The Conjuring House for a week, it's said that like the longer you spend in the house, the more it kind of stirs up the spirits, if especially if they don't watch you in their in their space, right? Yeah. So if they stay there for a whole week, this is this experience like tenfold. Open, we actually had a full body shadow figure standing here looking at us. What? Uh, both uh, me and Jen saw it, which was awesome because that's a personal experience. We didn't get it on film, but we oh, both experienced it at the same time. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, and we, yeah, people report a lot of children here. Yes. There's children uh, back there too. Yeah. They uh, you'll usually they're more prevalent upstairs, yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, but you'll hear them skittering and running around and stuff. They will talk out loud sometimes. They're like behind the door. They keep peeking yeah, peeking around out. the corner. What? Oh my god! You guys are like agreeing on this. You're dead on, which is awesome. What are you feeling? Go for it. Yeah. There's two children in here. One of them is so so shy, and the other one is like, "We come chase me," you know, like come after me. <laughs> so that's why I was like, "Should I go after them?" And that's why I was trying to like get back here. But that one that's so shy just walked up the stairs, and the one that's like, "Come with me," is going back here. Fast forward to the fall time. We were doing our live stream with Nick Groff. Nick got all excited, and he was. Like, like, gotta get another ground radar team here to look into it and just focus on that area. And they did, and they came up with five grave shafts. Wouldn't you want to dig it up to see what it is? You know what I mean? Like, do you want to disturb whatever's dug down there? Well, yeah. Guys, don't worry. If you follow this channel, I will get to the truth. <laughs> Before I end this channel, Steve's I will come out for with DNA. some kind of evidence and eventually I will find out the truth. I don't know if we'll be at this house or another house. But if you want to see we'll Steve be. exhume a body at the Conjuring House, this video needs 1.5 million likes. Yeah. This room is horrible. It freaks me out. I, I sure just horrified it down here too. Yeah, I don't want to walk in I here. grew up in a very dark home and this reminds me a lot of that place. Yeah. Like well, I can't like read. Yeah. yeah, I kind of feel like a, like like a stuff. Of the medium. What do you what do you think of her? Do you think she's a, like a real medium or? I think she's legit. Now again, we're only going based on the videos. There's a lot of things that could happen behind the cameras. Yeah. She could have researched this whole house. Who knows yeah. nowadays what people with what people try to do for views. Amanda, if you see this, you know nothing but love, and <laughs> maybe we'll work together someday. Let your eyes get used to the dark. You'll actually see these shadow figures start to form. They're in here now. Are they? Yeah. Ooh. The little kids? Yes. I was looking at them stand on the bed right before you said that. A little further back is where I was seeing them. Um, what is this? That's cat ball. Something taps it or something like that, it'll go off. That whole, I feel like I'm being watched. The hair stands up. Yeah, stuff like that. That's actually your sixth sense. Cavemen have it because they used to get hunted. We don't get hunted anymore, yeah. so you don't. See? Whoa. Oh my god. You, as you just said, look at my oh, oh, my, no, no, yeah, hair oh, hair oh, my hair's Oh out. my god. This room's not nearly as bad, but yeah. what do you hear that? What? What was that? Did you hear the knocking? I thought yeah, I thought that was just their footsteps. Did no, you? It was over here. Really? Exactly, yeah, that's so that's over here on this bed, that's where I said I was seeing people. I feel what do you hear yeah, that? It just sounded like that. What, what was that? Do you hear the knocking? Like I feel sick. <laughs> Actually, yeah. you know, this is the area that you'll get a lot of activity. That's where someone died. That's back here, huh? I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to call bullshit on that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but love, guys. You know, a little heart there. It was a boyfriend-girlfriend kind of thing. He was a geek. She was a very attractive young lady. And he, he made a deal with something. And he's like, you know, you can have my soul as long as, you know, she'll stay with me. But I was sitting with the girlfriend, all of a sudden she started reacting to it. Like her feet started swelling up. She had scratches and bruising appearing. Her eyes were rolling back. What? Like you her mom's like looking at it. Yeah, her mom was sitting there with me. I'm like, 
got footage. I, I didn't know what to expect. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to call bullshit. People reported a woman in a nightgown here, a white nightgown. Yeah. Just saw her. What? Oh my god. What the fuck? Wow. Now you said a nightgown? She, it was not it's like a nightgown, white. it's a dress. It's a, yeah, like a white dress. Wavy dress? Mm -hmm. no. A little flowy at the end. It had a nice little lace. Like, it was a nice dress. It had a collar that came up to here. She had, like, darker hair. See, no, I, we couldn't make that up. All I know was it was white. Yeah. And it moved so fast. It was outside. This thing went across the porch and just stayed at the same height. And just she was moved. tall, too. Yeah. She was standing right here watching, and when I looked up, I, like, fully noticed her. And we kind of just, like, stared at each other for a second. This book hasn't been touched. It was almost like something was telling us to read it. Did but you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> What's like your guys' opinion about the Conjuring movies comparatively to like what actually happened? Think it's a bad thing that they made all those movies and all that stuff, or is it good overall? It's completely different. Whoa! Whoa! What's going? What's going on? Are you good? Oh, oh my fucking there. god. That Why scared me. That? Uh, <laughs> that just flew into my face. You okay? Bugs are known to ah! I, honestly, like, I personally like the movie. Um, as far as accuracy, from the people that lived through it, they said it's about half accurate. If you read the books that Andrea wrote, it was actually 10 times worse in real life than the movie was. Real? Uh, what? She oh. actually gave a copy of her books to the screenwriters, and the screenwriters were like, we can't put this in the theater. We can't get an R rating. What was that? Okay, that was, did you hear the whistle? Yeah, I heard a whistle. Are you I'm recording? recording. That, we definitely just got a whistle. Yeah, yeah, oh my God. God. Might have been me. What did you do? I'm fat. <laughs> I would love to put noise canceling headphones on with the spirit, spirit box in here and have you guys ask questions. Oh, you want to do the Estes method? The what? It's called the Estes method. Sensory deprivation. Be careful how long you spend doing that. If you go for too long, mm -hmm. like, it's going to mess you up. Guys, we're doing this for you. We're going back to Haunted, so we really hope that you are enjoying our videos. Go down there, click. Subscribe, click the notifications, ready? Five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't do it, I'm, I'm pissed. All right, let's start this freaking investigation. Yo, so what are you doing here? Yo, we just captured something on here. This is the one we just captured. Look at that. 